Welcome to Pokemon Emerald version. What is going on guys? My name is Arcanine Shine, but if you came from my Minecraft channel, you might know me as Apex, but whatever you want to call me, it really does not matter with me. This will be my first ever Pokemon uh, LP. And um, unfortunately, I've tried to record this numerous times. It's either the recordings fail, the sound is way off, or just something I don't want happens. So, we're back at the beginning. If you haven't seen the other footage, other footage gets corrupted, or um, my screen capture fails, or uh, closes itself. But besides all that, um, I'm here with a series that will probably be ongoing for a while. So, uh, let's go ahead and enter our name. I probably started the game before I even explained it. So, uh, we're playing Pokemon Emerald, and so basically he just explained what Pokemon are, how we live in harmony with humans, and all this other kind of stuff. Just named my character, and, um, now we get to go into a little moving truck that our mom was too cheap for us to ride in her car. So now we're stuck in a moving van. And, um, just as a little backstory, Pokemon Sapphire was my first ever Pokemon game that I played as a child. So, that's another thing. So, I, and I, I played Emerald, so I know what all goes on and what all happens and everything else. So, uh, hopefully, this one won't be a failure as last time. Alright, so now I have to go set up. Sorry, I know I have to go set my clock. I just went down by accident. Alright, so the time is about 5 o'clock. 1, 2, 3, 4. It is about 4.50. 35, 40, 45, 50. There we go. Yes, that's the right time. Then she says, everything's cool. You just come downstairs when you're ready. And I never did this as a child. I never knew there was a potion in here, but now I do. And she says, Dad's on TV. And that's also another thing, is that this is the first ever Pokemon game, along with Sapphire and Ruby, that you actually have a dad in. So, uh, now we have to go over to May's house, her mom, mom's gonna talk to us, also those dots, those dot, 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 dots, that is the silent protagonist, which is you, talking, basically, but I love that effect, it lets you really think whatever you want to think and not be stuck on, like, a storyline or path or whatever that your character is, and this is May, our rival, that's another thing, you won't be able to name your rival in this game, it's because it's a different gen, it's like, in the... Fire Reds and everything, you're able to name your rivals. Now she go, goes and sits on Facebook for a while. So now we go up here and we're supposed to get our first Pokemon. And he's being chased by a Zigzagoon. And we are going to get our first Pokemon, which is totally Trico because it is the best Pokemon ever. Now the Trico sucks. We're totally going with Mudkip. Yes, it's a boy. That's just, when I was little, I always wanted Pokemon to be a boy for some reason, just all the time. So we get the mud kit and we get to name it. I'm going to name it what I've named it throughout this whole entire time trying to record these. I'm going to name it Source because that's just... I don't know. It's just, it, it, it stuck. And now we have to go uh, Battle May in that one route. And in Sapphire, you get your running shoes right here. Right after you talk to him. Alright, so basically what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to just level up. Because I just, I like to battle May to have an advantage, and also it's just easier, easier to get through the game like that. Because like right now I'm already level 6, but it's going to take a long, it's going to take a while to be able to get to level 10. I mean, that's, that's my real starting point at this, at, when, when I play this game. So that's another thing, so. I'm probably just going to cut all this out, so, uh, so guys, once I hit level 10, which will hopefully be soon, I will catch you guys then. Alright guys, so we have leveled up Source to level 10. So we're looking pretty good right now. That was a doozy battle right there. I need to go heal up just to get full health. And um, let's go get a potion from this person. Free complimentary item. And one thing I have not done, I have not checked what nature he is. Mild. That's alright. I mean, it's okay. Let's see. Okay, his speed's looking good. His special defense is higher than usual. His attack's good. His, his regular defense is low. 
Alright, that's not bad. He needs the defense, though. Alright, so now we just go battle May over here. And there is a Wingle right here. Alright, we are going to come over here. We are going to battle you. And she's got her Trico out here. Two shot. Easy victory. Now we gotta meet her back at the Pokemon Lab with Professor Birch. Might as well heal up, because I can. Alright, and then she'll be like, Come on, Shine, let's go over here, let's hurry home. Speed button overdose. And then she gives us the Pokedex, and also, she gives you the Pokeballs. And Sapphire and Ruby, I realized that there was a typo and just said Pokeball. I'm pretty sure it was something with the programming and they couldn't do uh, capital capitalization or other letter, I'm not sure. And now we finally get the running shoe, so we won't have to rely on this speed button all the time. Although it's much easier. And there's already a Pokemon here, I hopefully get one shot. Right, I want to see what our first Pokemon is going to be. I don't want to run Volts. No, how'd that not kill you? I was about to go heal up. Here's our first random trainer battle. Exclamation mark battle. And you were easy to defeat. And this is probably a guy, but their sprite always looks like a girl. Yeah, bug catcher Rick. 3 XP. That is too easy. In case you guys are wondering, yes, this series was inspired by one of my two favorite Pokemon YouTubers. And that's obviously going to be Hayden and Shofu. Hayden was my original inspiration because I I saw him first and I forgot where I saw him from. I think it was, uh, I'm not sure what video it was. I can't remember, but Hayden's content is great. I'm currently watching his, his uh, Pokemon Snakewood Nuzlocke Challenge. It's really nice content. And then, uh, Shofu, he's, he's just funny, and his content's really good, too. He plays those hacks that no one really usually plays. Hayden's just different. I, I like him a lot. Him and his cool shark. You get it if you watch it. Watch his snake block challenge. Or snake wood challenge. Alright, so now we're talking to our dad, and he's just talking about how we have our Pokemon become a trainer like him. That's great news. Okay, Wally, he just teaches us how to, how to catch a Pokemon. We already know how to do that. So we're just going to skip all this. Don't really want to watch him do any of that. Let's get that out of the way with. And he got his Pokemon. That will be his uh, companion from now on. So now we have to head to Rust Roby on that point. There should be a trainer, the gym leader, Roxanne. After her, go see other Pokemon gems and defeat their leaders. Collect badges from them. Yep, I will do that. And I'll become even stronger and fight you one day. Fight me, bro. And this is... God, he just looks for Pokemon trainers for the Battle Frontier, and we are probably not going to go through all that. And you need, you sir, need to battle me. He should have his, yep, Zigzagoon and C Dot. Get you out of here, just, and Bide, yes, was not able to use it. Alright, you battle, I know that. You're a little sucker to kill. And now we are, wait, does she give a, gives us berries? I don't think so. We get two Orin berries and two Pekka berries. And we will battle her and we will get to the forest. And you have a forest story because you're rich. You're level 13 already. And you have a free XP farm right here. Oh, you should have been able to one-shot right there. Uh, I'm missing attacks all over the place. I did not think that was necessary. Ah! I do not want a Pugina. Let's get out of here. And then the Devin Goods guy. And Team Aqua. I like them so much because, well, I grew up with them. And it's just, yeah... See, now he has the papers. Never know what, what's on those papers. So, what do you think you're doing? What, you're going to protect him? No one crosses Team Aqua gets any mercy. Not even a kid. Come on and battle me. Alright, so here we go. My favorite Pokemon music from any game is obviously this. I just love this music. But I have to uh, say one thing. Team Magna's outfits are so much better than theirs. They just got a freaking handkerchief on their face or head. You're kidding me, you're tough. Can't mess with Team Aqua, I wish I could say that, but I'm not a Pokemon. And hey, 
We had two Mako World Walks out. There's something in Rustboro City. I'll let you go today. And then we need to go get a Great Ball from him. And we will go over here. And it's Kuchina again. Waiting for that battle. Alright, you will be able to easy kill. Easy kill. I like Nankata. I know, I remember I got a Shed Engine by Axe and I didn't even mean to get it. I need to get these berries. I think there's a potion back here. Oh no, it's a Pokeball. A Meryl already? There's Meryl back here? I never knew there were Meryl back here. Oh, there's a Pokeball just sitting there. I didn't even mean to click that. That's pretty cool. I can't believe there was a Meryl there. I did not suspect that. Hey, you're supposed to battle us. Mr. Winston. Need to battle us too. Uh, you have a low tone. Yes, I will delete that for Growl, just because I can. And you have a Shroomish. And I am out of Tackles. Alright, let's just do Bide. Oh. That should be a kill. Yeah, there we go. I don't like using Bide, because it's a risky store-up move. You have a free XP farm right here. Just got the water gun you all day. And they are killing you in one shot. Probably because I'm level 15. She gives us a Chesto Berry that will heal for... I don't understand why my computer randomly does that. But anyway, we will keep going, get to pick up these berries, and we will go heal up. Pole. Sign. Door. Wrong door. 